الاسماء الموصولہ الاسماء الموصولہ کنجکٹو ناؤنس دس از دا دس از دا ورڈ دیٹ ناٹ فار ڈیمونسٹریشن بٹ فار ریفرنس ٹو اٹیچ ٹو سم ادر ریفرنس آل دیٹ گلیٹرز از ناٹ گولڈ ہٹ ان انگلش آلسو یو یوز اٹ ان پلور آل دوز ہو آر ان دا کلاس ول ہیو ٹو ڈو سچ اینڈ سچ سو ہیئر دوز از ناٹ بائی ڈیمونسٹریشن از جسٹ فار ریفرنس الاسما الموصول اگین وی ہیو اے کمپلیٹ چارٹ الدی سنگولر میسکلین از الدی یا یو الزی نزل علیہ ذکر ان کل مجنون الدی الدانی مثنا اللہ دانی ان رفا فارم اینڈ اللہ دینی ان نصب انجر فارم اللہ دانی اللہ دین از دا پلورل یا ایو اللہ دین آمنو اللہ دی اللہ دانی اللہ دینا فیمنین از اللہ تی یا ایتہ نفس المطمئنہ نو اٹس ناٹ دیٹ سوری اللتی اللتی تطلع علی الافریدہ اللتی اللتانی اللہتی اور سم ٹائمز اس کا اللہ 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 حسنا یعنی صورت الطلاق اللہ لم یا حسنا ماشاء اللہ شکریہ اللہ دی اللہ دانی اللہ دینا اللہ تی اللہ تانی اللہتی اور اللہ 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 دانی اللہ دینا اللہ تی اللہ تانی اللہ تی اللہ دی اللہ دانی اللہ دینا اللہ تی اللہ تانی اللہ اور اللہ تی اللہ دی اللہ دانی اللہ دینا اللہ تی اللہ تانی اللہ تی اور اللہ سو دس از دا ہول چیپٹر ویری کامنلی یوزڈ ان دا قرآن وی ہیو سمپلی ٹو ریکگنائز دم دیٹ فار سنگولر میسکل ایٹ ول بی دس ون فار سنگولر فیمن ایٹ ول بی دس ون And for plural masculine it will be Alladina and for plural feminine it will be Allati or Allai. There are six nouns in Arabic language which act in a very special way. Unique nouns. Hmm? You're talking about unique nouns. Unique yeah. ones. Yeah, you can say. For those categories, unique nouns. There's a unique category itself. Okay. They are When they are used as mudaf, their Arab is very special. Put it in a simple way. These are special because when they are used as mudaf, their Arab is different. As in the beginning, in the expression of Arab, we said, the Arab is expressed in different ways. One way is by the indication of the last mudaf. 
by the harakat of the last letter of the noun. And the other was the changing the whole word. Now, this is a special example that how the whole word is changed. They are, the special nouns are abun. Means father. Abun, father. Akhun, brother. Hamun. This is used for in-laws. Sometimes it's used for the father-in-law, sometimes used for the brother-in-law. It's a common word. Hamun. Mother-in-law. Yeah. No, no. Is this, uh, do they only have two letters in the root, or is it, is it HD? No, no, as such. Just two? Yeah. Then is famun, mouth, mouth, mouth. Then is zavun. <laughs> Zavun. The sixth one is a vulgar word, so it's beyond the scope of our class. The meaning of the fifth. Meaning of the fifth. Zavun is um, one of. No, this is one is actually some other thing here. Zavil Kurba. <laughs> the close relative ones, those of the near kin, hmm? Zulmal, one with wealth, right? Zul Jamal, Zul Jamal, one with handsomeness, Zul Jalali Wali Kram, Zul Karnain, one with two horns, so that is the one. Now, what is special about the Arab? Now we will study. When they will act as a mudaf, you know, normally abun will be a normal noun. Abun, aban, abin. But when it will be mudaf, abu of fala, father of fala, abu Muhammad, abu Musa, abu al Qasim, right? Now it will be special. Now let's see that how it acts. First we take Abun. The height of this smartness is that with little they express all. <laughs> you know, all what we are doing today since morning is with little they express a lot. With only the cards they have in their hands. So Abun will make the chart for everyone like this. Rafa, Nasab, and Jar. So, when in Rafa form, as Mudaf, it will be Abu. No, they are for masculine. No, Abu is father. Abu is father. No, but the no, no, here there will be no feminine. The rest of them are... All, same way. There's only Zavun. When there will be feminine, then we have another chart. Abun, it will be Abu Fulanin. In the Rafa form. And if it is Nasa form, it will become Aba. Abu, Aba, Abi. An Abi Bakrin Radi Allah, An Abi Hurarata Radi Allah, because An is a harmful jar which has to change the noun to jar form. So Abu will become Abi. 
سو ان ابی حریرۃ رضی اللہ عنہ قال قال رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یا ابا بکر یا ابا القاسم یا ابا القاسم ون تھنگ وچ مے ناٹ کم لیٹر آن جسٹ نوٹ ڈاؤن ان بلاک لیٹرز وین ایور اے مداف بیکمز ایڈریسی اٹ از ان نصب فارم ریمبر ربنا از مائی لارڈ اور لارڈ سوری ربنا از اور لارڈ بٹ ربنا اور لارڈ وین ایور a mudaf is being addressed mudaf the first noun of the middle column relative construction the noun related to another noun is called mudaf whenever a mudaf is addressed it will be in the nasab form Remember it as a separate rule. My name is Abdus Sami. It is a relative construction. Abd, slave of the Sami, the hearing. But when you will address me, but you will say, Ya Abdus Sami. Ya Abdullahi. And even if you don't say Ya, you simply say Abdullah, Abdus Sami. It means, Oh Abdus Sami, Oh Abdullah. We say Abdus Sami. So what's, what is wrong with that? Yeah. No, when you have to address me, you can't say me Abdus Sami. You have to say Abdus Sami. Yeah. Rabbana, O oh our Lord. When I am not using the uh, yeah. yeah. But even then, you are mentioning me, it will be Abdus Sami. But you are addressing me, it will be Abdus Sami. Okay. Like Rabbana, Rabbuna means our Lord. Rabbana. in all these applications you say rabbana o oh, our lord from where this o comes actually there is ya which has not been which has just been hidden, hidden. but since the meanings is o oh, our lord so it will be rabbana <laughs> yeah that's why i have a friend who the uh, i will call him son abdullah But whenever he tells us, call him, he tells Abdullah. Abdullah. Oh, Abdullah. Abdullah is, oh, Abdullah. In English, you will say, oh, Abdullah. <laughs> so, Abu, Aba, Abi. Abu Bakr, Abi Bakr, Aba Bakr, and Abi Bakr. Abu Huraira, Aba Huraira, Abi Huraira. Abu Al-Qasim, Aba Al-Qasim, Abi Al-Qasim. Can you explain to me one more time the Abu Aba and Abi please? Abu Aba Abi? Yes, like how you just said Abu Bakr, Aba Bakr, Abi Bakr. It's very simple. No, in the in ex in a in a writing, sometimes Abu Bakr will be in the rafa form. Like I said, boy was going to school on his way, his bike went out of order and a friend gave him ride so it was he his and him similarly you are mentioning about abu bakr radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu sometimes you to say abu bakr's father now father of abu bakr now abu bakr will be in the jar form or not So now it will in that very expression it will be Abu Abi Bakr. The father of Abu Bakr will become Abu Abi Bakr. Abu Bakr is the name of Abu Bakr radhiyallahu taala anhu. But Abu Abi Bakr. So how would you use it for Abi? When Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in ahadith addresses Abu Bakr, how he says, "Ya Abu Bakr," so that becomes Aba, because Mudaf, when it is being addressed, whoever is he, it has to be in the nasab form. That's the special law. Huh? That's the special. That's the special law. <laughs> no, no. Actually, the thing is the uses of nasab form. 
that comes in the uses of nasab form you know we have studied nasab form but yet we have not studied what are the uses of nasab form one of the uses of nasab form is inna we have studied already inna anna ka anna laita la kinna la allah just i may not forget this or miss this i've just told you separately that when a mudaf is addressed he is in the nasab form then akhun next is akhun it will be akhu akha akhi you have to always have as a separate word they can never exist separate word is that but only when they are mudaf we are talking about so akhu fulanin badar darf such and such right it will be akhu akha and akhi what was third one hamun hamun it will be hamu hama hami hama and hami so hamu hama hami next was famun no <laughs> famun it will be fu fa fi <laughs> <laughs> fa and fi 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 hi <laughs> in his mouth would be translated as fi fi hi <laughs> fi 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 the first fi would be for in and the other fi would be for the mouth and he would be the pronoun a tight pronoun fi fi hi yeah <laughs> and remember the plural of all that plural habun is abau and this is ghair munsarif remember whenever i write a word without tanween and alif lam remember it is ghair munsarif abau it's not abaun No, no. Gayer Munsarif, which don't accept kasra and tanwin. You right. know, partly cooperative nouns under the heading of partly. It was a category partly cooperative noun, so it is partly cooperative. It will not get alif lam, and it will not get tanwin, and it will not get kasra. Abau, abaa, abaa. So akhu, akha, akhi. Plural, ikhwanun, and ikhwatun. Ya yual ikhwa, oh brothers. Inna mal mu'minuna ikhwa. Ikhwanun and ikhwatun, fu fa fi, and the plural is afwahu. It is afwahu. Afwa is the word used for rumors from many mouths coming out. <laughs> Again, mim is not there in plural. Afwahu. Afwahu. There should be alif after wa or not. Yes, yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Afwahu. Afwahu. Is the meaning same like Urdu? Ji. You said the uh, okay, second line, Ikhwanun and Ikhwatun. Yes. Why is there uh, tanwin there? No, this is a normal Munsarif word. Only Aba is Gair Munsarif. 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> a teacher was asking, teacher was asking his students that which one is a mammal of the animals and which one is not. Which one is it? Which one is a mammal <laughs> who <laughs> gives birth to children and the others who lay eggs? The difference is that there are animals who lay eggs and there are animals who deliver children. And he was asking a question. One guy was very clever. The teacher asked, is lion, does lion lay egg or deliver children? <laughs> he said, sir, he is the king of the jungle. <laughs> he has a choice whether to lay egg <laughs> or to deliver child. <laughs> so they are the king of the language. <laughs> they can do whatever they like. <laughs> <laughs> they will have this as Ghair Munsarif and this as Munsarif. We have no choice. We don't, can't question them. <laughs> okay, write down the next one, zoo. Here first. But let it be here. Next is Zoo Zavun. It has a complete chart. Oh, it's a different chart? Yeah. <laughs> chart of Zavun. So, again, Masculine and feminine. <laughs> Singular, Muthanna, and plural. Zu the the Zu the the You see in the Quran in the same surah Zul Jalali wal Ikram and Dil Jalali wal Ikram What's the difference when it is Zul Jalali wal Ikram It's marfu and you will look into the ayah, which is the marfu noun in that ayah. Tabara kasmu rabbika zul jalali wal ikram. So ism is in the rafa form. So zul jalali wal ikram is the ism of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kasmu rabbika zul jalali wal ikram. Do ayat hai na? tabara kasmu rabbika zul jalali wal ikram. And the other ayah? Vajabuka Vajur Abika This is Dul Jalali Vajur Rabika Zul Jalali by Gram. So this is the Vaj of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His face is of glory and robe. And then will come Jama. Musanna. This is singular. This is Muthanna and this is plural. Correct it. Singular Muthanna and plural are in vertical line and horizontal are Rafa Nasab and Jar. Then Muthanna is Zawa, Zawai, Zawai. You know, it should have been Zawani, Zawaini, Zawaini. Since they are Mudav, so Era will be light. So it will be Dawa, Zawai, Zawai. Dawa. Dawai and Dawai. Dawa, Dawai, Dawai. Zawani, Zawaini, Zawaini. And noon will be dropped because they are, we are talking of Mudaf. So Mudaf doesn't have a heavy Arab. So it will be. Dawa, Dawai, Zawai. And plural will be Zabuna, Zavina, Zavina. Again, noun will be dropped. Zavu, Zavi, Zavi. Zavu. Zavu. 
زبونا زبینا زبینا تو زبو زبی دبی نو زبائی عدل من کم ان آئے تو دائن لیٹ دیر بی ٹو مین کریڈیبل مین زوائی عدل من کم دوائی عدلم من کم سو دس ہول واز میسکلین نوٹ ڈاؤن دس ہول واز میسکلین دا فیمن آف زبون از داتون سنس اٹ از مداف سو اٹ کین ناٹ بی داتون اٹ ول بی داتو داتو داتا داتی You know the famous hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that seven men on the day of judgment will have the shadow of Allah subhanahu wa taala's arsh. Yeah. Then there will be no shadow except Allah's. One of them is Wallazi da'atuhu imratun zatu hasbim wa jamalin. One who is invited for adultery by a woman. ذات و حسبن ہیونگ اے فیملی بیک گراؤنڈ و جمال ان اینڈ بیوٹیفل ٹو اینڈ ان ریٹرن ہی سیز ان خاف اللہ آئی فیئر اللہ سو دیٹ از دا ورڈ یوز ہیئر ذات و حسبن و جمال ان ون ود بیوٹی اینڈ فیملی بیک گراؤنڈ حسب مینس فیملی بیک گراؤنڈ اینڈ جمال مینس بیوٹی تو دیٹ از ذات و حسبن و جمال ان دین از مسنا دا تانی زا تعینی زا تعینی نون ول بی ڈراؤ دا تا دا تئی الحمد للہ آئی ایم ٹیچنگ دس آفٹر ٹین ایئرس اینڈ ڈیورنگ دس پیریڈ آئی ہیو ناٹ ریڈ دس Since I have oriented them in my brain methodically, so I don't really need to memorize them, it's always there in my mind. This is what I say, transfer the charts into your mind. Don't memorize. Zatu, Zata, Zati, Zavata, Zatai, Zatai. پلورل دس از سنگولر مثنا اینڈ پلورل جمع سنگلر مثنا اینڈ پلورل بٹ ان دس کیس دا پلورل از بروکن ون اگین دا کنگ آف دا So this is Zawatu, Zawata, Zawati. <laughs> Zawatu. Zawata. Zawati. Interesting man.
broken plural so this is zawatu zawata zawati <laughs> now last but not the least <laughs> it's not yet the end <laughs> you know there is they have another choice to sorry for, for plural these two they have another choice to arabs they have the other choice to what is that choice and that is more commonly used in the quran that is for plural they would say ulu uli uli ulu al bab ula al bab sorry uli al bab and ulu al bab not ula there's no ya ulul ulul ya uli al bab there's no ula al bab so that was the confusion which was resolved by the example so ulu uli and uli and for feminine that is regular ulatu ulati ulati there is no ulata wa ulatu al ahmali in surah talaq wa ulatu al ahmali those with pregnancy for women the iddat is being discussed normally if some husband of a woman dies the iddat is 4 months and 10 days wa ulul ahlal ahmali the iddat is delivery wadana hamlahunna when they deliver their pregnancy the iddat is over it may be the next day it may be after 9 months so ulu uli uli but here it will be ulatu ulati and ulati you no know? the difference is that was regular plural you know had it been the other way round it had been zatani zataini zataini so that was broken so it was zawatu zawata zawati Here it is regular ulatu ulati ulati. That's all.